Hi and welcome to my video and today I'm going to be ranking every episode of Marvel's WandaVision from my least favourite to my most favourite and this is just my opinion, this is in no way a definitive list and it's just for fun and I absolutely love this show so I'm not in any way saying that there are any bad episodes. At number 9, episode 1, filmed before a live studio audience. It's a 50s sitcom with typical 50s sitcom humour which I absolutely loved. I especially loved all the Europe jokes. And that dress. Yes, it's, it's, it's so... So, Covian is what it is, yes. And during the dinner party scene where Mrs. Hart just kept repeating stop it, it gave me very like horror and suspense heavy vibes and we can see from the beginning that something isn't quite right. Episode 1 was a good first episode. At number 8, episode 7, Breaking the 4-4, it is the office and family inspired, which I liked because I do like Modern Family, but I felt like we didn't really go anywhere with this episode, especially following the events of episode 6. And we saw Wanda not really being able to control her powers, and we also got some few relatable quotes from her. I'm starting to believe that everything is meaningless. However, we did get the Agatha Harkness reveal and that banger Agatha all along, which really does make this episode. At number seven, episode three, Now in Color. This episode was Wanda's pregnancy and her giving birth towards the end, and we got a lot of great jokes. I can't wait to be a proud papaya. <laughs> We got a few more of those suspense scenes where something isn't quite right between Vision, Agnes and Herb and we also got the first real world reference from Geraldine when she mentions Ultron to Wanda. Wasn't he? What did you say? So episode 3 was a good episode and I especially like the part where Wanda just screams in Vision's face when she's given birth to Billy. At number 6, episode 2, Don't Touch That Doll. And though this ranking disagrees with what I'm about to say, I really love this episode. It's probably going to be my comfort episode, one that I'll keep coming back to when I think about this show. Are you using your night vision, Vision? This episode had a perfect balance between humour and suspense. The whole talent show scene was just downright hilarious and it made Vision go from a character that I didn't really think about to one that I really like now. And in the scene where the man's talking on the radio, who we later find out is Jimmy Woo and then the jump cut scene towards the end when Wanda says no was just chilling. And just a little bonus, episode 2 had my favourite intro theme song. At number 5, episode 4, we interrupt this programme very cleverly named, may I add. This episode focuses more on Monica and Sword, and we see the aftermath of the blip and what that meant for the world now. And we also got introduced to Jimmy Woo and Darcy again, and I saw myself in WandaVision. Darcy watching WandaVision was me watching WandaVision. But I'm invested. This episode was good. We learn a bit more about Monica and the Hex and the sitcom, but I was more interested in the Hex and I didn't really care about what was going on with Sword. At number four, episode six, all new Halloween spectacular. And again, I like this intro and I like the Malcolm in the Middle feel to it. This episode is exactly what it says on the tin. It was spooky. Vision going further into town, townspeople moving less, and his interaction with Agnes. Because I'm what? Dead. Dead. Dead! Dead! And just Wonder and Vision's Halloween costumes were amazing and the jokes made about them were hilarious. I know you have a secret thing for Mexican wrestlers. Me gusta mucho. Chili con carne. Oh, <laughs> In this episode, Wanda also blasts Piejo, which was amazing because I didn't really like him, and she expands the hex to save Vision, also trapping in Darcy. I mean, what a cliffhanger. And before I announce my top three, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more. Stick around, there's content on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier will be coming shortly. And now at number three, episode five on a very special episode. This episode was crazy. We saw the twins, Tommy and Billy, aged from babies to five to ten. There was a little standoff between Hayward and Monica. I mean, he is just begging for us to hate him at this point. Wanda exits the hex and confronts Sword and we get her lovely Sokovian accent back. You don't bother me. I won't bother you. And the speech that Wanda gives to the boys after Sparky died, I mean, she need that more for herself than the boys did. And throughout this whole episode, Vision is getting more and more suspicious that something is wrong. And he goes to confront Wanda, but she doesn't want to argue with him. And so the credits start to roll over the scene and his line Stop lying to me! gave me chills. I mean, I was open mouthed the whole episode and then ding dong at the door. She recast Pietro? Fake Pietro shows up. That episode was just crazy and I am here for it. And is it just me, but does Baby Vision and Baby Grinch give off the same energy? At number two, episode nine, the series finale. And it was really difficult for me to do my top three because they're all my favorite. There was nothing wrong with the final episode. It had a lot to deliver on and it delivered in the best possible way. Monica reveals fake Pietro 
as Ralph Boner and I didn't really like him so this reveal was fine with me. The townspeople confronting Wanda was just crazy and her reaction to it was even crazier. And when the WandaVision family stands together it really reminds me of The Incredibles in a good way. I mean we love a superhero family. The Vision vs White Vision philosophy battle about the ship of Theseus was actually really interesting to me and I think I preferred that to when they was actually fighting. And the part when White Vision announces himself as Vision and the disputes out there I just found that funny for some reason. The final fight between Wanda and Agatha, not gonna lie she had me in the first half and then we got that amazing new suit reveal and then the gut-wrenching goodbyes had me in tears. And then that little scene where Monica says that she would have done the exact same thing if she had that kind of power. I mean throughout this whole season I really liked Monica's character because she was sympathising with Wanda and knew what Wanda was going through. And of course episode 9 had that final end credit scene where Wanda hears her twins calling and so it gives us hope that the twins will be back again. But coming in at number 1 and taking my heart in the most messed up of ways is episode 8 previously on. And as the title describes, yes this episode is a bunch of flashbacks giving us more of Wanda's backstory and I know that we know a lot of about Wanda's backstory but telling us versus showing us are two completely different things. The episode opens with Salem Witches and we're given a little backstory to Agatha and we also have some more of Sassy Agatha when she mocks Wanda's accent. Where are my children? Where are my children? And to me Agatha is more of a therapist to Wanda than a witch who wants to steal her powers. She would rather fall apart than face your truth. I thought this episode was done really well. The flashbacks show us Wanda's love for sitcoms and why she created the Hex and the sitcom world. At the end of the episode you realize it was all a bad dream and if it was real Yes, yeah, same. I was hoping for that at the end of the final episode. The Hydra experiments hinted to the Scarlet Witch suit reveal and then Vision's line, what is grief if not love persevering? If you didn't cry at that then I don't know. And the whole interaction between Hayward and Wanda at the sword compound, he just gets under my skin and I hate it, especially when he said the line to Wanda, he isn't yours. Can you just fuck off me? And when Wanda goes down to Vision's body and she says, I can't feel you, there was just more tears and it didn't stop. She drives to the plot of land that they were going to build their home and on the deed it says grow old in and then she just unleashes hell, creating the hex and creating Vision. Then we learn out that she didn't steal Vision's body making Hayward more of a dick than we already thought he was. That whole scene gave me chills and had me in tears and then Agatha reveals that Wanda is the Scarlet Witch. Literally crazy. So in short, episode 8 is my favourite episode because it destroyed me. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I understand that this episode might have been a bit slow and that they probably should have heated up some action for the final episode but with how it shows Wanda's trauma and her losing her family it just makes that scene in the final episode where she loses her family again that more impactful and that more sad. And anyway the final episode picks up where this episode left off so it works fine. And that is my ranking of all 9 WandaVision episodes. Comment down below your ranking because that would be really interesting. If you like this video please leave it a like and subscribe for more. I'll be making content on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Thanks for watching. Bye! When in Westview. Cheers!